Is it just me or does it seem like most of the characters in these Lego movies have some type of daddy or parental issues? is Sharana from Pair Weights and today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego Ninjago movie. So for those of you who don't know, the Lego uh, Ninjago is basically a TV show, a uh, Lego TV show that started on Cartoon Network back in 2011 and I believe there, it's been on for seven seasons and they're starting their eighth season going into 2018. Um, so this is actually the second um, TV show from Cartoon Network to be made into a um, film in the theaters and the first one was the Powerpuff Girls movie. So going into Lego Ninjago, so the basis of this movie centers around the six ninjas who were teenagers in this film um, compared to how they started um, in the TV show. So basically they're the six ninjas who protect the city of Ninjago which is a beautiful island um, that is unfortunately terrorized by the baddie in this film, the villain called Gramadon. So basically, Garmadon and his little minions, they attack the city like multiple times a week. It's basically just like, oh, you know, it's probably going to attack the city today. And normally, nine times out of ten, he's always defeated 100% of the time, actually, um, by the six ninjas. Um, in this film, it goes into the six ninjas protecting the city, but um, they're going to have to up their ante because Garmadon is coming back bigger and badder than ever to finally take down these six ninjas who continuously stop him from his plans on taking over the city. Um, one of the major plot lines that you've seen in the trailer already is the relationship between Garmadon and the green ninja, who is Loy, um, voiced, by a J voiced by Dave Franco. Um, and basically, Garmadon is Loy's father who has basically been absent in his life the entire 16 years that he's been on the planet and yes in this film Lloyd is a teenager with the rest of them in the tv show Lloyd is actually a little kid um, compared to the other ninjas um, so just for those of you who are fans of the tv show there he is the same age as everybody else in the movie and one of my like issues that I have before I get into my actual thoughts on the movie is just okay with animated films I understand that if you're just making something for movies, um, for the theaters, like with real people that you put celebrities to try to get more people to come and see it. I really didn't understand why we needed to change all of the voice characters for this film because it's just voices. I mean, I don't understand why they couldn't use the regular um, people from the TV show, but I digress. I don't know if that's an issue for anyone else. It just bothers me a little bit when they actually do stuff like that. But now my thoughts on the film. So for me, I thought the film was okay. It was good. Um, I will say that it kind of lost my attention in certain parts of the film. It didn't have as many jokes to really keep me like actively engaged. Um, the opening sequence, like into the first part of the movie when there's kind of the more action and fighting going on, I thought visually the film was like great. I love like kind of the machine bots that they use, that the ninjas use. And I actually thought that they looked better than, um, the TV show. But that's just my personal opinion. It may differ for some of those who are hardcore fans of the TV show. Um, but I did think that visually it was a very pleasing movie. It's amazing to see what they do with these Lego movies and how they really bring a Lego world to life. Now, as far as the voicing of the characters, I thought it was fine. Um, I really didn't have any issues with it. Um, but I just really didn't feel as entertained with this movie. I mean, it's still good. You could tell that the kids in the theaters, they really enjoyed what they were watching. But like kind of towards the middle of the film, kind of got a little tired. And I think even my friend next to me, they like ended up falling asleep for a little bit. Um, so I just thought, and I don't know if it's because I'm so hung up still on Lego Batman movie because it was so many like jokes, punchlines, like they really kept you going. Like you really had to pay attention because it was so much coming at you. I just wanted a little bit more from this movie. I would say that this is probably my least favorite out of the three. It's still a decent uh, movie within the LCU, but I just wanted them to bring it. Um, I'd be interested to see like what they have coming up next with the Lego movies. And I'm more interested in seeing the difference of opinions from those who are fans of the TV show versus to those who have never seen a TV show. They're just going in because it's a Lego movie. Um, so overall, I would still say pay to go see this movie. I still thought it was entertaining, especially for it to be a Lego movie. I just think that they really need to up the ante when they start releasing more installments because they have been getting bigger and better. Um, but as always, 
My name is Sharonda from Pay Your Weight, and if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, and if you like what you saw, just share it with your friends, and I will see you soon.